How to fire up your sex life Make sure your spouse never doubts your faithfulness. The number one impediment to a healthy sex life is the thought of infidelity. Treat each other well when sex is not the agenda. A healthy sex life starts when you two are fully dressed away from the bedroom. Do cheeky and naughty stuff together. Grab her butt when she least expects it. Pass your hand on its penis to rub each other on the nipples without warning. Call it love making. Don't call it having sex that gives it a heart. Avoid pornography that makes you focus on each other and not depend on sounds and images from strangers to arouse you. It also makes you both feel special and heightens pure pleasure. Flirt together throughout the day. Send each other naughty messages. Turn each other on. Work on your look. Invest in lingerie. Change your dressing to avoid monotony. Stimulate visually. Use suggestive postures. Thanks for and on your spouse. Lap tanks, twerk, kata kuno. Give each other an exclusive show. Maintain hygiene. Cleanliness will make you both look forward to licking, touching and love making. Put on attractive scents. Have bedroom makeovers. Switch up the look in your bedroom from time to time. Change your environment. Avoid monotony. Focus on romance and sensuality. Talk heart to heart, cuddle, please each other, listen to do sweet things. Don't make the goal be an orgasm. Make the goal be to make each other feel loved. Take it outside the bedroom. Don't make love only in the bedroom. Do it in another rooms. Book a hotel room, take a vacation, create new experiences. Take your time. Don't rush to love making unless it is a quickie. Make it special. Know that tomorrow is another day. Don't put pressure on yourself in case the orgasm today comes too quickly or doesn't come at all. Sex is not a goal to score. Love making is about intimacy. Make out more. Kiss, touch, stroke, nibble on the ear lobe and neck gently blow on each other if that brings pleasure. Focus not just on what is between the legs. Don't talk about your sexual struggles and get stuck there. Act no lamenting. Going on and on about how boring or little sex you are having discourages the mind and sex starts in the mind. Recap on how great the love making was. Talk about the sensations you made each other feel. This will boost your confidence and help you both know what things to keep on doing to give each other pleasure. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.